more regular patrons arrive on the shores. To survive the drought, Cookson's wildebeest need to drink twice a day. By midday, the showground becomes quite crowded with peak hour activity. No time for more than a quick drink. Everyone needs to move on to feed. In the shallow pool, the con artist finally perfects his disguise. Now it's only a matter of time before he gets the opportunity to spring an ambush. And patience is a crocodile's virtue. A perfect trap. The crocodile claims the limelight. The others launch in to share center stage and demand a part of the free meal. But the clever trickster does not give up his trophy easily. Sharing may not have been part of his plan, but crocodile law dictates that the spoils be divided. Crocodiles spin to tear the meat away, a tug of war that turns into a neck breaking job. But all worth it for a cut. No doubt who lords over the river in this valley. Knowing this, the baboons remain alert to avoid a surprise lunge, although they do seem a little too close to the water's edge. Oh! <laughs>